it's an idea that I've been floating around with the Elger Base Store uh, Journeys In Cafe about having a creative writer's hour. I'm going to get into a rehearsed poem I have called The Rivet Toad. Uh, it's a, the story of greed and what happens when you're greedy. Today's poem is something that I wrote called The Rivet Toad. A long time ago, a man skipped a rock across the water and it struck the head of a rivet toad. Now here's a story of both provisions and greed and how one really does reap what one does sow. From joyful teardrops of the heavens, the angels formed a pond. Then Father Yah, creator of the cosmos, formed a life with his special life creator. Ribbit, ribbit, was a new sound on earth that could be heard? Soon the angels started singing as Father Yah again waved. Oh, look, said the ribbit, that flying thing there I shall call birth. Now the pond, it seemed so peaceful, though the ribbit wanted more. So the ribbit asked our Father Yah to give it all that heaven had in store. So Father Yah complied and tried to fill the ribbit with its wish. Now the ribbit should be so happy and its pond to be eating all those bugs and fish. Then the ribbit asked of Yah, were there more creatures in his plan? Father Yah said yes, but he was not finished creating his favorite creature he would soon call man. Favorite creature, ribbit, ribbit? Well, I thought I was your favorite creature, ribbit, ribbit. Well, the ribbit became so demanding he had to have this man creature now. So Father Yah complied and he formed a man. A man who had two eyes, but said just one breath. Still the ribbit wasn't happy with his bounty of man, bugs, and a bone. So Father Yah waved his wand once more, and he taught the man to skip a rock and kill that weed when it took. So I guess the moral of the story is, if you're going to be greedy, at least be grateful. <laughs> Thank you. Please visit my sponsor, PositiveRebelArt.com. Hope to see you all real soon here at the Journey's Inn Cafe. Bye for now.